Hi everyone! So many of you have been asking for a house tour. So I thought it was finally time to show you how it's like where I just moved. Welcome to my new home! But first, a little recap for everyone who just found my channel. My name is Daniel and I just moved up to my family's old country house. After thinking about it for years, I finally decided to follow my heart and took a leap of faith. I was scared out of my mind, but the beautiful and calming nature here finally made it irresistible. So here I am, in an old house that needs a lot of love and care. It's probably not my forever home, since it's actually my parents who owns it. But for now, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And since moving here, my love for gardening has grown. And next spring, I plan on expanding the garden quite a bit. But for now, we're in the darkest and coldest of winters. I've never seen this much snow in my entire life. But the purpose of this video is not to talk about the weather. So let's move along. Let me show you the house. And I want to start by showing you Loftet, a part of the barn. So right now I'm standing by the entrance to Loftet. Loftet is like the second floor of the barn and uh, this was our favorite place as kids me my brother my cousin and um, our friends we actually have like a tree house up here only that is not in a tree it's up here instead uh, and we used to have so much fun here reading comics and uh, stuff like that i will show you how it looks like i just have to Get the camera first. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff up here. We kind of use it for storage. To the right, we have our very old bikes. Most of them haven't been used in forever, as you might be able to see. But some of them function very, very well. Here are my winter tires, a kayak, water barrels for the garden next season, the heating system for the water during summer. It's not on right now because it would all freeze. And here we have the lawn mower. Not that we need it right now. Lots of snow up there. And further down here is the tree house. Here we used to <laughs> swing a lot. This is right underneath the tree house that is up here. I will show it very soon. But yeah, we used to take turns swinging and spinning. Woo! The tree house is mainly made out of old, beautiful doors, put on top of the beams. And to get up to the tree house, we used this. <laughs> we had mattresses to lay on when reading comics, but no one has laid on them for almost two decades now and we made paths all the way to the other side of the barn. We also had a small little pool table. So we played pool up here. Like I said, Loftet was really the place to be as a kid. At least if you asked us. Playing pool and reading comics up here are things I'll never forget. And now it's time to show you the main entrance to the barn. We're now by the main entrance to the barn. This is where we go into 
use the outhouse or get firewood or something like that. Like everyday kind of stuff. So even here we have quite a lot of stuff. These are two old bikes that we are using daily when it's summer. Uh, not like the bikes up there that we barely use. And then we just have a lot of stuff. We have saws, we have shovels, we have tires to, uh, to the bikes. We have motor oil and here we have the outhouse. So here is where you do your private business. It's not always fun. And then if we go in to the right here, this is where all the firewood is. As you can see, I don't have a lot of firewood, unfortunately. So I am struggling with keeping the heat in the house. I'm using radiators as well. That is my main source of heat. And then if it's very cold outside, then I have to start a fire. But this would not be enough for the whole winter if a fire would be my main source of heat. Not at all enough. Another way up to Loftet. Clothes that we use when painting the house and stuff. And here's paint. So yeah, this is just basically a place for storage. And now I was thinking about showing you the garage, but for that we should go out again. So this has not always been a garage. We kind of used it for storage as well before, but we have redone it to a garage earlier this summer. Yeah, here's my car. I really wanted to have a space to have my car under some kind of roof because it would be absolutely horrible to have to shovel it out every time it's been snowing. And I'm so glad I decided to do that because it has been snowing so, so much. So I'm really glad I, I got help from my dad to make the space a garage. And now let's go to one of my favorite parts of the barn, the sauna. So in here we have the place where I shower and use the sauna. But this door is kind of hard to get open. That is also another project for next summer. So this is the sauna my absolute favorite part of the barn. This is where I shower, but right now the water is off because of the cold. So at the moment I either take cold dips in the lake or use a portable shower where I can build up water pressure manually. And now I think it's time to show you the main house where I live and sleep and eat and <laughs> all of that. So this is the porch. Not much to show you here. Uh, the thing to think about before entering the house now is to get 
all the snow off from the shoes. Walking through the hallway, we soon find ourselves in the kitchen. This is where the fire stove is, so this room is usually the warmest. So this is the heart of the house, the kitchen. One very good memory I have from the kitchen as a kid is um, when um, my grandparents still used to be up here. They were the one who got the house from the first place. But they used to be here and um, we sat here, the whole family, uh, and had fika together. That's something I'm really looking back at with warmth in my heart. As you can see, we have both a regular stove and a fire stove. Not only do I heat up the house with it if it's too cold, I also cook with it. And uh, lately I have started to even use the oven for that. Uh, that's something I haven't used before. The other day was actually the first uh, time ever I used this oven. Then I'm also washing my clothes here actually. I heat up water in a huge barrel and wash them here over the fire. And then I hang it up here and let them dry. Let's go into the next room. So this is um, the old living room. It's not really used as one anymore. Only sometimes if the whole family is here, then we can watch TV on this one here. Other one, otherwise, I'm not using this TV myself. I have one in my bedroom in there. So this room is not used that much, uh, but it has a very, very beautiful view of the lake. And this is just the other side of the room. And that's it for this room. Let's head into the bedroom. That was a lot of room in that sentence. <laughs> so this is the room I decided to make mine. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make this room feel 100% like me, simply because it's my parents' house and I can't do whatever I want. This is where I sit and edit all my videos and photos. So a lot of time is spent here. Maybe most of the time that I'm indoors. It takes a lot of time to edit one video. A lot of long evenings here. You might see that I have a radiator here. It's because when it gets really, really cold, I like to sit with this one uh, between my legs <laughs> to keep me warm. It's very, very nice to have this small little extra radiator. And of course, I need to use a lot of um, hard drives because the recording in 4K takes up a lot of storage. So hard drives, hard drives, hard drives. Yeah. That was the space I have for editing. And this is my bed. And it's not even uh, like a real bed. It's, maybe you can see that it looks a li little bit weird. It's because the base is uh, actually a couch. And then I just put this mattress on top of it. The main problem in this room is 
that it, if it's sunny outside, there's too much light coming in here. So I need to get better drapes that uh, blocks out the light because I'm very, I'm very sensitive to the light when I sleep. Any light at all almost wakes me up. Yep, yeah, this is where I sleep. <laughs> And this room has also a beautiful view over the lake. But now I think it's time to go up to the second floor. Up here we have two bedrooms and an old cinema room. While first walking up the stairs you get to the second floor's hallway. Entering to the left we find ourselves in the cinema room. This is one of the rooms on the top floor. That door leads to the stairs, and that door leads to a bedroom. This room used to be used as the cinema room. We watched movies and played uh, Wii and stuff like that here. Also great memories from being a kid up here during the summers. And behind the camera, there's just a lot of stuff, storage now beds and mattresses and uh, stuff like that. Let's go into this room, one of the bedrooms. Right now it's used as a room where my mom sit and lay puzzles. So she has a radiator here that she puts on if she's here and sit here with her puzzle. And this is yet another bedroom. You can access it through here, obviously, but also through the stair house. We will go in there soon, but first I will show you where I slept as a kid. I slept in something we call Katvin. Like a very, very small space. Think like Harry Potter, but not under, not under the stairs, but that kind of size. I don't know why, but I absolutely loved this room as a child. I just think small rooms can be so cozy. So this room hasn't been used in forever. This mattress was not something I slept on, but uh, so many memories. Here I have a box of different cartoons or comic books, T comic, yeah, <laughs> comics, a box of those different comics. So remember I told you that we used to sit up at Loftet and read comics in our treehouse? This were where we went to get all the comics. This was like a magic little box full of comics because when my dad grew up he and his siblings uh, went here every summer, just like I did when I was a kid. Uh, so every time they did come up here, they traveled by train, not by car. And um, my grandparents bought uh, comic books for them to read on the train. So eventually they had they had a full box full of these. And as a kid, that was just magical. And here you can see a painting I did in kindergarten, three years old. Like every room towards the lake, this also has a beautiful view. Maybe even the best due to being higher up. But let's move on to the last bedroom. And now we are in the second and last bedroom of the second floor. This is where my grandparents used to sleep when they were still using this house. But now they haven't been here in years and my grandpa is not even with us any longer. 
actually one of my favorite rooms I think. I think I actually really really like uh, the wallpapers here. It just screams old country house, old Swedish country house to me. So this might actually be the end of this house tour. It's nothing fancy at all. It's pretty big, but it's very old and don't have all the luxuries that most of us are used with nowadays. But I think it has so much charm and so many wonderful, amazing memories for me who grew up here during the summers. It doesn't maybe necessarily feel like my home, my forever home, because I haven't put time and energy, like I said, to make it feel like my forever home, because it probably isn't. I might be here a year or two, and then hopefully I will have my own house. Yeah, I don't know how much time and energy I want to put into making this feel like my space. And also, it isn't my space, it's my parents' house. So I don't know with I don't know what they are okay with me doing around here. I'm laying low with that right now, and then we'll see what happens in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this house tour. See you soon again. Bye! Yeah, that was the house I live in. I hope this video helped you get a better glimpse at how my life is like up here. It's a beautiful house with a lot of potential. And in a lot of ways, it's my dream house. It just needs a lot of love and care. But it probably isn't the house I'll end up living in forever, since I want my very own. Some place I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I'm sure that day will come, but for now, I'm so grateful I can stay here and take my first steps into a life up here in northern Sweden. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!